SQL Server Vulnerability Assessment is an easy to use tool that can help you discover, check and remediate potential database vulnerabilities. You can use it to proactively improve your database security. It provides visibility in your security state and includes actionable steps to resolve the security issue and enhance your database security. It can help you meet compliance requirements that require database scan reports, meet database privacy standards, and monitor dynamic database environment where changes are difficult to track. The Vulnerability Assessment Service runs and scans directly on your database. Service employs a knowledge base of rule security flag that flags security vulnerabilities and highlights deviations from best practices, such as misconfiguration, excessive permissions, and unprotected sensitive data. These rules are based on Microsoft best practice recommendations and focus on security issues that present the biggest risk to your database and vulnerable data. These rules also represent many of the requirements from various regulatory bodies to meet compliance standards. Results from the scan can include actionable steps to resolve each issue and provide a custom remediation script where applicable. An assessment report can be customized for your environment by setting an acceptable baseline for permission configuration, features and database settings. To do a vulnerability assessment in SQL Server, right click on the database which you want to run the report for, select task and then select vulnerability assessment. Then select scan for vulnerabilities. This is the location where your reports will be stored. Then select OK. So here I have two failed checks and 33 passed. So I have two failed security checks. The database owner information in the database should match the perspective owner information in the master database. So let's view this, right? And if you scroll down, you can accept it as baseline or you can clear it. So if you clear it, it won't do this check when you run the report on other database. However, if you accept, it will keep this as a baseline so it will so it gives the risk as high, status as failure, and for the description, it's saying the database ownership metadata is stored in two locations. So it's in the master DB and the DB itself. And check the recommendation. So I need to specify a new owner for the database. So let's check the owner of the database now. Select properties. On the files option, you'd realize that there is no owner for this database. So I'm going to select an owner now. I'll be selecting my Windows account, selecting OK. So rerun the report by selecting Task, Vulnerability Assessment, Scan for Vulnerabilities, and select OK. Now I'm no longer seeing that vulnerability assessment. Also, it's saying transparent data encryption should be enabled. So later on down in this course, you'll learn how to enable transparent data encryption.